Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Okay, so the accident. Yes. Or cannabis. No. Yes. (laughs) 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 Oh, boy. Okay. Cannabis. Cannabis life. Yes. Yes. It is honestly, it's the best thing for almost anything. They're finding so many different ways to use it. I grow my own just because I am really afraid of what people are putting into it as Mm. we come into this new legalization. They're creating all these gray areas and they're changing laws constantly and so swiftly that the growers can't keep up. So they're kind of tricking the little grower guys out of everything to give it to the corporations. That's what I've heard. So I remember when the legalization of cannabis came on to the ballot, I had a friend who um, is also in the field and he was talking about how this was going to be a huge problem and basically the government was taking the cannabis market and like commercializing it for like corporations and taking it away from, you know, mom and pop kind of growers. And that's like my big concern and because what I'm really afraid of is what they're going to be putting into it because Mm. the people that I know that grow, like there's a wonderful group of people with the Jungle Boys here Mm -hmm. in LA, the TLC Collective, absolutely love them. They grow everything in-house And they're just really there to care for the patient. They want you to know that this isn't about, you know, us like really like making money. We want to help you if you have back pain, if you have anxiety, if you have seizures, you know, whatever it may be. But they come in and they actually have to have um, lawyers that they stole from NASA write all of their contracts to submit. And that's just one draft cost them. I think they said roughly a quarter of a million dollars. Jesus. So it's like every draft that they have to write for submitting for a new anything mm-hmm. costs them a quarter of a million dollars. And it's absurd. Wow. Is that be- so they need these lawyers because the laws are always changing and because there's such like unsure footing? Yep. And yeah, because I, there's, you know, obviously like there's been a lot of cannabis places popping up all over the place. And um, I remember there was one near my house that like got raided. I remember seeing yep. the cops there and like they raided it. And just out of curiosity, I, I asked the guy, um, I was like, what happened? And they're like, we don't know. Like they just came, they had like, you know, yep. be- because it's, illegal on a federal level but it's legal on a state level so it's like super confusing and also too like won't banks like not banks won't work with you yeah so Um, then you're working on a purely cash business yeah which is dangerous to have to deal with that much cash it makes it so much easier for people to rob you i mean it's just like it's almost like being in the adult industry oh it really is you know because you know how like banks will have shut down like accounts of porn stars and stuff like that i've had that happen to so many people and it's just like it's such a bummer yeah because yeah. it's no one's doing any harm to anyone else. We're just trying to run a business, and it's not an illegal business no. either. Not on a federal level, like like pot is. If if you want to make that argument, yes, like it's not illegal what we're doing. No. And and I remember, I remember actually applying for um, a credit card. And I was denied and I talked to the guy and I was like, I just want to know why. Like, I have good credit. Like, I have plenty of money coming through. Like, I'm never late paying my bills. And he was like, well, he's like, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, we Googled you and we saw, you know, and we don't support adult content because. Wow. I forgot what his reason was, but it was something like, like that it was unstable or something like that. And I was like. I'm sorry, but like my business has been way more stable through this recession yeah. than like so many mainstream industries. Like right. up until this last reception, we kind of thought we were recession proof. You know how like yeah. like alcohol and like cigarettes and like porn is like recession proof because it is. if anything people turn to that when they're down. Exactly. So yeah, I was just like that is such bullshit. But the thing is because banks are private institutions, they can do that. They can. Unfortunately. Which is really it is. It's such a bummer. Because yeah. these cannabis companies really they're not trying to hurt anyone. If no. anything, they're trying to help so many people. Right, right. And then and then the taxation on it is just absurd. If you don't have your recreational card, um I would say go get your rec card because the taxes are not going down. They're going up. Mm. So you're paying 38% wow. on every dollar. Wow. 
and it's just absurd. So if you have your your medical card, which mm-hmm. you can get very very easily, and then your taxes are way lower on your purchasing options. So that's how they're making the difference between they're charging a lot more for recreational users as opposed to medical users. Yes. That makes sense. Yeah. And I understand, but it's it kind of is hypocritical when it comes to the tobacco and the alcohol industries mm-hmm. when they're all charged the same percentage of taxes across the board, really. Yeah. And also, too, if you think about it, like, and it, you know, obviously there are certain people that will probably argue with this, but um, as opposed to alcohol and cigarettes, which is definitely not medicine. I mean, yes. Once again, people will argue with that, but like cannabis literally is medicine and it, and it's been obviously, proven. Pe- yeah, obviously people use it for non-medical reasons, but a lot of people do use it for medical reasons. Mm-hmm. So like to have it kind of treated the same way. Especially when it can be extracted down to its most base compounds, which mm-hmm. is the CBD compound, mm-hmm. which is the muscle and just the the things that help you. The THC is the psychoactive right. side. Yeah. But for anyone with epilepsy and seizures or anything or cerebral palsy, this is this is a lifesaver. Yeah. And we're gonna deny people something that they can get at a reasonable price that will vastly improve their lives. Yeah. It just I hope people kind of like wake up and are just like, okay, we need to lower the taxes a little bit and not yeah. be so harsh on this. Yeah. Um, so do you have your own growing business? I grow for my personal self now okay. because I'm working mostly on my clothing line now uh-huh. and all of my art that's but coming out. But you did out. have a growing business at one point, I right? I did, actually. Now I mostly uh, help promote companies that I believe in, mm-hmm. like the Jungle Boys. Uh, Sticky Vapes is mm-hmm. a new one that I've discovered. They're amazing. They're uh, disposable, too. So mm-hmm. they come in this great packaging. They're stainless steel. It just it looks elegant. It's clean. And you just get this great perfect thing Mm -hmm. and honestly i think it's just the way to go yeah it's incredible like how to see the way that it's it's changed and it's morphed i mean i i remember i remember it like senior year of high school this was 1996 people my boyfriend wrote a story it was like his like big like english paper project and it Mm -hmm. was about why weed should be legal and why it was illegalized in the DuPont paper industry yep. and all this stuff. And I remember and he, I remember him saying to me, he's like, weed's going to be legal one day. He's like, just you wait and yep. see it is. And I was like, you're crazy. It's never going to be legal. And here we are. So many uses. Yeah. And it's just, it's just sad to think that it was just really the transition of, well, we, we don't want to pay the money to transition from mm-hmm. lumber and timber and those things to hemp and cannabis. and Right. And the pharmaceutical reps obviously had their hands in it, but yes. everyone's got a little claw on that one. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I know, right? So, um, okay, so then you talked about how you're not growing so much anymore because you're focusing on your art and your clothing line. Yes, so, I grow for my own personal use and yes. friends. And you, I remember actually it was funny because the when I saw you on Kieran's set for when you did your first seen for browsers. Yes. I remember you came with like a suitcase with like huge jars filled with weed and you just gave it out to everyone on the crew <laughs> and like oh my god my crew was so excited. They're like, I remember I remember one of my assistants was like can we shoot Madison every day? I'm like I wish. You and me both. We all wish. That's, it was like it was so funny. You're like Santa Claus. That's how everyone used to like recognize me when I would be on set. They would come in and they'd just be like I smell something. Madison's here. <laughs> <laughs> but I do. I love. I love bringing goodie bags to like all of my friends on set. Still, like so I still cool. do it. Yeah, that's really awesome. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless. It's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping.